I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the concept of finding two angles for which the trigonometric ratios are exactly same and these two angles will be between 0 to 360 degrees. The question here is write all possible values of theta in standard position between 0 to 360 degrees for each of the following equations to be true. So first equation is cos theta equals to cos of 30 degrees. Now, when we are talking about cosine, then let's, let's look into uh, the Cartesian plane. You know, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan is positive in quadrant 3, and cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So some students learn it by the cast rule, C-A-S-T, all silver teacup, all students take calculus. These are different ways of learning this particular rule, right? So, all are positive, all trigonometric primary trigonometric ratios are positive in quadrant 1. Sine is positive in quadrant 2, right? Tan is positive in quadrant 3, cosine in 4. So, that is the cast rule or all students take calculus rule, which helps you to figure out this particular solution. So, when we say cos theta equals to cos of 30, what could theta be? It is a positive value because angle 30 is in positive. So for cosine, what are we looking for? We are looking for uh, 30 degrees acute angle, but in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4, right? So if we are talking about 30 degrees, then principal angle is 30. So one solution is theta equals to 30 degrees itself. The other one is it is that much, 360 minus 30. So the other solution is 360 degrees minus 30 degrees, correct, which is 330 degrees. So these are two possible solutions. Likewise, you can you have to find solutions for all others, right? I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's look into the second one here, which is sine. We are seeing negative value. Now, when is sine negative? Now, sine is negative in quadrant as we can see 3 and 4. So we are looking for two triangles which are in these coordinates. The angle of interest is the acute angle 40 degrees. We'll write 40 degrees here, right? And the answer for theta is in two principal angles. So if you go from here to there, 180 plus, so one is 180 degrees plus 40 degrees. That is one solution. The other one is 360 degrees minus 40 degrees. You get the point, right? So one is 140 degrees for you. I mean, sorry, uh, you have to add, okay. So it is 220 degrees, okay. So 220 degrees for you. The other one is 320 degrees for you. So for these two angles, you'll find that sine theta will get a negative value and will be same as minus of sine 40 degrees. So that is the concept. Similarly, for tan, as you see, it is we are looking for a negative value. Tan is negative in coordinates 3 and 4, right? So 45 is our acute angle. So these angles are 45. Principal angle will be how much? From here to here, it will be theta is either equals to 180 minus 45, or it could be 360 minus 45 degrees, correct? So that is how you can calculate the value. So you can do this work. And the next one here is for the cosine, right? So we are looking for a negative answer this time. Negative means we are looking for these two coordinates, right? With 70 as the acute angle, right? So I'm quickly going through this, leaving things for you to do. So cos is negative in these two coordinates. So the answer for theta is how much? It is 180 degrees plus minus, so you get two angles, 70 degrees, right? So that is how you can find all the angles uh, within 0 to 360, which will give you the same result as we are looking for, right? So most of the time, you should get two values for theta, since we know that uh, cosine, sine, tan are positive in two quadrants, right? Now, as an exercise, what you can do is, I'm kind of giving you a test question here, leaving the space here for those test questions. Find sine theta for sine equals to zero degrees and find cos theta for 
cos of uh, let us say let us say 180 degrees right so do we have or what is the solution for this right do we have just one solution two solution three solutions or how many right for theta right so you could figure that out i think that should be very interesting so that is your test question on this particular topic i hope that helps thank you and all the best